Today, we'll be talking about radioisotopes, more specifically, the radioisotope cobalt-60 and what its impact is on the medical field. But firstly, we should talk about what a radioisotope is. An isotope is when an atom has a different amount of neutrons to protons. This changes the mass of the atom. Radioisotopes are unstable nuclei that break down and emit radiation through a process called nuclear decay. This is when the nuclei, in an attempt to become stable, emits energy and particles. There are three types of radiation. Alpha, which is the least dangerous and consists of emitting two protons and two neutrons, essentially changing the element. Then there is beta radiation, which is when the atom shoots out electrons at a fast pace. This can go through your skin and cause damage, but can be stopped by a sheet of aluminum. Gamma radiation is the most dangerous as it consists of the atom emitting electromagnetic waves that can cause serious damage to a being's DNA and can only be stopped by a thick piece of concrete or lead. Carbon-60 is a radioisotope with a half-life of 5.27 years. A half-life is how long a radioisotope takes to break down into exactly half of its original mass. Carbon-60 produces both beta and gamma radiation, however it is usually used for its emission of gamma radiation. Cobalt-60 is an important part of the medical industry as a treatment for cancer. Cobalt-60 is a form of radiotherapy used to treat tumours. The gamma radiation produced by the cobalt-60 can pass through the patient's skin and directly attack the fast-growing cancer cells. Unlike all things, there are some issues with the radioisotope that pose a risk. Radioactive waste is produced in the making of cobalt-60 and it is quite difficult to dispose of the radioisotope since it is radioactive. Cobalt-60 is such a strong source of radiation that external exposure to that radioisotope is considered a treatment by itself. Being exposed to a large supply of cobalt-60 can cause skin burns, radiation sickness, death, and an increased risk of cancer. However, the likelihood of this happening is low if safety precautions are followed. Cobalt-60 is the most precise and advanced form of radiotherapy and can be used on brain tumors since it gives a higher dosage of radiation with limited damage to surrounding tissue. It also has fewer side effects than conventional radiotherapy. For example, it is painless and is effective in simple design. Cobalt-60 is an essential part of the medical industry and can do things that chemotherapy and other forms of radiation therapy cannot.